Ah, energy drinks, the beverage that promises to give you wings and propels you through the day like a caffeinated superhero. But be warned, my dear friend, these seemingly innocent cans of liquid energy can pack quite the punch, and not the kind you'll want to boast about. In fact, consuming energy drinks can be harmful to your health, leaving you feeling more like a lethargic sloth than a high-flying bull. Nice to see you. So before you crack open that can of liquid lightning, let's take a closer look at the potential risks in this concoction of energy. Energy drinks have become a popular beverage choice for those who are looking for a quick energy boost to power through their day. These drinks are often marketed as a way to increase mental alertness, physical performance, and endurance. But let's explore some common ingredients found in energy drinks and their effects on our health. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our future content. Synthetic caffeine is the primary stimulant ingredient in energy drinks, although some also contain the extract of guarana berries. Whilst the berry of this plant may seem innocent enough, guarana has amongst the highest concentrations of caffeine in any plant, approximately four times the amount of caffeine found in coffee beans. Wowzers! Caffeine stimulates the functions of all organs and is mainly used to improve mental alertness. Great, right? Well, not really. It can also cause symptoms such as anxiety, irritability, restlessness, palpitations, and elevated blood pressure. That's a bummer. Okay. The way caffeine works is by blocking adenosine, a neurotransmitter that is responsible for promoting sleep and suppressing arousal. The caffeine literally blocks the adenosine receptors and stops us feeling tired. But here's the kicker. Adenosine is still being produced in the background, and when the caffeine wears off, our brain gets flooded with adenosine and we experience that well-known crash. <laughs> Caffeine also increases the release of adrenaline and cortisol, two hormones which prepare the body for the fight or flight response. This can result in increased heart rate, blood pressure, and respiratory rate. And chronic activation of cortisol has been linked to many health issues, including inflammation, hormonal, menstrual, and fertility issues, blood sugar dysregulation, and metabolic issues such as weight gain, thyroid disorders, digestive issues, heart disease, autoimmune conditions, sleep problems, headaches, anxiety, and finally adrenal insufficiency. Well, we're boned. I could go on, but hopefully you get the picture. In severe cases, caffeine overdose can result in seizures, cardiac arrest, or even death. Sugar. Most energy drinks are very high in sugar. A 350 milliliter can of energy drink usually contains almost eight teaspoons of added sugar in one can. Consuming too much sugar can lead to weight gain, obesity, and type two diabetes. Additionally, we know that high sugar can increase inflammation in the body, which can contribute to the development of chronic diseases such as autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or Hashimoto's, cardiovascular conditions such as heart disease and high blood pressure, cognitive issues such as brain fog, mood swings, and Alzheimer's disease, gastrointestinal issues such as leaky gut syndrome, IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease, neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's, metabolic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, and even some cancers. Artificial sweeteners. To reduce the calorie content of energy drinks, some manufacturers use artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, and acylfem K. Now, while these sweeteners were generally recognized as safe, studies have now suggested that they have negative effects on our health. For example, a study found that artificial sweeteners can alter the balance of the bacteria in our gut, which can lead to glucose intolerance and metabolic disorders. Artificial sweeteners have also been shown to increase sugar cravings and cause weight gain. Additionally, some people may experience digestive issues such as bloating, gas, and diarrhea when consuming large amounts of artificial sweeteners. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Wait till the end where we'll talk more about these dangerous additives. Taurine. Now, taurine is a naturally occurring amino acid which is particularly concentrated in your brain, eyes, heart, and muscles. The main food sources of taurine are animal proteins such as meat, seafood, and dairy. If consumed in food form, it can help with energy production in the cell, cardiovascular health, it protects against oxidative stress, improves heart function, and metabolizes fats. 
but it is often added to energy drinks as it is believed to enhance athletic performance and improve mental function. However, in high doses, such as those contained in energy drinks, it has been linked to heart palpitations, nausea and vomiting, and even seizures and kidney damage. Additionally, some studies have suggested that taurine may interfere with the body's ability to absorb nutrients such as zinc and copper. B vitamins Energy drinks often contain high doses of B vitamins, which are essential for energy metabolism. Because energy drinks contain large amounts of sugar, these vitamins are touted as important ingredients needed to convert the added sugar to energy. This is the extra energy that energy drink companies claim their products can provide. However, excessive consumption of B vitamins can be harmful to our health. Now, whilst these vitamins are water soluble and can get excreted through the urine, some studies have linked excessive B vitamin consumption in energy drinks to impaired liver health. High doses of vitamin B6 can lead to nerve damage and neurological symptoms such as numbness, tingling, and loss of coordination. Other potential health issues associated with high intake of B vitamins include skin rashes, digestive issues, insomnia, mood swings, and blood pressure issues. So when you see what is actually in these seemingly innocent drinks, it is no wonder that here in the UK, many supermarkets have now banned the sale of these drinks to children under 16. Shocking statistics showed that more than two thirds of children aged between 10 and 17 and 25% of all six to nine year olds consume energy drinks in the UK. Looks like the under 16s in the UK will have to rely on good old fashioned youthful energy instead of relying on canned lightning to power them through the day. Now, I don't know about you, but my child has enough energy to go around without extra caffeine and sugar coursing through their veins. If you're relying on these types of drinks to get you through the day, consider what may be causing your energy to be so low. Are you getting enough sleep or are you surviving on a few broken hours of sleep a night? What is your sleep hygiene like? Are you nourishing yourself throughout the day or are you eating erratically or skipping meals? Are you burning the candle at both ends, over committing or working yourself into the ground? Are there steps and boundaries you can put in place to ensure you have some time in your day to relax and recharge? Do you have an underlying health issue which is stopping your cells from producing the energy they need to function properly. If that is the case, you may want to empower yourself by doing one of our online courses to find out how to best nourish yourself and live in order to thrive rather than just survive. Check out our online courses on our website, link in the description below. Stay tuned for the video coming up next about the bitter truth about artificial sweeteners. Until next time.